We just got a restock on our beef. You guys have been hearing me talk about how we were out of beef and been using up all of our venison and different cuts of pork. And I always get questions of what it looks like, like the freezer, after I get a half of a steer. And so here it is. You can see that it fills the freezer brimful when I get a new order of meat. So that was a half of a steer that I got from my sister's farm. And I just love when the freezer is restocked and full and it makes me just ready to feed my family. I have so many more options now with all of these different cuts. So if you're ever interested in getting meat from my sister, she does deliver to most places in the United States. So I'll have her link below if you want to check that out. This morning for breakfast, I am making an oatmeal apple raisin bake. This is something that all of my children love. And we actually have this recipe on our cast iron skillet cooking blog. And so I'll link that for you down below. But it's just five cups of instant oats, a teaspoon of salt, cinnamon, baking soda, a cup of honey, two cups of whole milk, a half a cup of melted butter teaspoon of vanilla, a couple of eggs, and then I dice up about five apples, and then I throw in about a handful of raisins, and just mix it up, put it in the oven, and let this bake. Let's take a quick break so I can tell you about today's video sponsor, Osea. Osea is a clean, clinically proven skincare from the sea. It is formulated with a unique, pure blend of pure seaweed and active botanicals. Osea is mother and daughter founded and rooted in over 100 years of multi-generational female wisdom. All of their products are vegan and cruelty-free and sustainable. Right now, Osea has limited edition sets that would make the best gifts for all the moms in your life this Mother's Day. I personally love the Glow and Go facial set and the Golden Glow body set. The Glow and Go facial set comes with an ocean cleanser, Day Glow face oil, and the Gua Sha sculpture. The cleanser is a seaweed infused gel that removes everything from surface impurities to excess oil. It gently exfoliates and unclogs pores without stripping the skin. After using the cleanser, I apply two to three pumps of the face oil to provide a smooth base for the gua sha massage. You can use the sculpture alone or with your favorite face oil to leave skin glowy and refreshed. My favorite thing about Osea is that all of their products are free from any questionable ingredients. When I have extra time, I love to use the Golden Glow Body Set, which comes with a plant-based body brush, cleansing body polish, and body oil. Oil. This set would make the perfect gift for any skin type. If you are ready to pamper yourself and get all of your Mother's Day shopping done in one spot, you can shop Osea by using the link down in my description box below and be sure to use my code OILYHOUSE to get 10% off. I was able to get that in the oven before most of my kids woke up. So while speaking, we have a few things done this morning. One thing that I just love to do every morning is make my bed. It just makes my whole room feel put together. And when I walk past it, I can't stand seeing an unmade bed. Um, my husband also works in here. This is where our computer is and where he sits, you know, majority of the day. And so I like the room to be 
put together for him while he is working. As a mother of lots of littles, I actually do not have any specific laundry routine. I just do a load of laundry every single day. And so sometimes it's at nighttime, sometimes it's in the morning. But when the washing machine is full, I run it, throw everything in the dryer, and then fold the clothes. My younger kids' clothes don't even get folded because they just have a couple of baskets in their room. I fold the older kids clothes and then they can put all of their stuff away on their own. But I find if I just keep up with about a load a day, I never get behind on laundry and it's never too big of a thing. And you can see here too, my boys just have these little baskets in their closets and that's for my three youngest and all of their clothes fit into there. So I am very minimal on the amount of clothing that we have in our house. I think that's another way to really keep things simple and manageable. After breakfast, I'm just doing a quick clean up here this is something that I do all the time in fact my kids say you always say you're doing a quick cleanup but it just has to happen so many times throughout the day and if I do a quick cleanup after each meal and you know before and after nap times it just helps to keep the house clean organized put together and so that is something that I do often. And I'm also feeding my sourdough starter. And you saw before I fed it that it had a black film there on the top of the sourdough. And that is totally fine. I always am giving people starter because, you know, they ask for it and then they're like, oh, I killed it, I need more. It had black stuff on top. I'm like, no, 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 it was fine. So that just means that your sourdough is hungry. And I just pulled mine out of the fridge. It's probably been in there for a few days. And so I just fed it and it will perk right up. And it's definitely not, you know, bad or anything. It's totally fine. So I fed my starter because I'm going to be making some sourdough pizzas. And so I wanted to get it all lively. And then I will work on those crusts later. In the main living areas of our home, I don't really keep too many toys. Most of the kids have their toys in their rooms. Now obviously toys migrate out throughout the day, but none of them actually live out in the main area. I just like to keep that very cozy, clean, and simple, and all of the toys stay mostly in their rooms, and at the end of the day, we make sure to put them back in their proper areas. I have mentioned here that we had a bunch of chickens not make it. We had a big, I don't know, chicken massacre last year. And so this spring, when it was chick days at our local farm store, we got 25 little chicks. And so they recently were just moved outside to our coop. We still have a heating lamp on them because they're pretty little, but it's been warmer here and this coop is airtight so it's plenty warm for them and I am so excited to have fresh eggs again just right from the backyard in a few months. With all these warmer days we are definitely starting to 
spruce up the outside areas and I found all of these tulips and spring flowers at Walmart. I spent like five bucks on all of these. They were on major clearance because they aren't gonna last extremely long. I know it's kind of like the end of the season, but I couldn't pass it up and so I'm planting them in this little area here and then whenever they die, I will plant my cut garden for the summer in this spot. I mean, I'll do several spots of seeds, but this will be one of the spots that I plant. So I figured even if these just last for a few weeks or a month, it'll be worth it to me for just a few dollars. I also got some hanging fern baskets for the front. And my daughter and I are trimming back some of these bushes up here that we probably should have done a long time ago and planting our window boxes here in front of our house. We have a lot more things that we're planning on doing, adding a bunch of mulch, getting rid of all these leaves and cleaning up, but I'm just doing one thing at a time so it's not super overwhelming and it can be more doable. Take a bigger hole in here, let me move. And then this one's kind of in the middle. So you don't have to be watered. While I was outside, I clipped a few flowers to spruce up my flower arrangement on my table inside. It still looked pretty good, but it needed a little bit more color, so I just brought a few extra things in just to make it look a little more pretty. All right, tonight we are going to be having pizza and so I'm getting my dough started this morning. I'm actually doubling this recipe because I always like to make a lot of crust at a time and then if we don't use them, you can freeze them and then it makes for a really easy meal later on. So for the original recipe, it is a half a cup of starter, four cups of flour, one half cups of water, two teaspoons of salt and two tablespoons of olive oil. And I'll just mix that in my mixer and then let it ferment throughout the day. When I was doing laundry this morning, I realized that I was just about out of laundry soap, and so I am making a new batch of this. It is so simple and so cheap to make your own laundry detergent. I have been making my own for almost 12 years now and I just love it because it saves our family so much money. I have this recipe on my blog, OurOilyHouse.com. You can search laundry soap to get it. It's just three ingredients and so easy, like I said. So if you want to look up this recipe or any other, just search laundry on the top search bar of my blog and you will see all of my different laundry recipes. So I have this liquid one, I have a powdered one, I have a soap nut laundry soap, I teach you how to make your own laundry soap bar for stain remover, scent boosters, just so many different things because it is a passion of mine to use natural ingredients in my home and instead of purchasing like really expensive dye free fragrance-free laundry products. I have learned how to make all of my own and it saves us so much money and I love that everything is all natural. So anyway, if it is something that you've been wanting to do, definitely look at my blog for all the recipes and just know that it's actually super, super simple. All right, so I told you guys that I like to make a lot of crust at one time. So today I'm actually making eight pizza crust and we will probably eat about four of them and then I can freeze the other four for a really easy dinner. Now what inspired me to make pizza tonight is we had a little bit of leftover ham and I had a pineapple. So I'm like, all right, we have ham and pineapple. Definitely have to make a pizza. I absolutely love pineapple on a pizza. And then you see I also cut up some jalapenos. I'll keep those off the kids. But for me, I love a sweet, and spicy pizza. I love that combination. It's just so good. So because of that little bit of ham and pineapple, it inspired me to make pizzas tonight.
my dough got a little wonky and I definitely stretched it too far, so might not be the prettiest, but these taste delicious and such an easy meal that everybody in my family will enjoy. Thank you so much for watching today's video. If you're new here, please subscribe. I get out a new video every single week.